What up everybody, this is Scott Takai. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a little VFX that I did in a recent short film that I DP'd called Buddy the Clown. So before I get into the tutorial, click on the card up there to view the full film. It's a short horror film. It's kind of scary, has a clown. It's really awesome. So to start things off, I'm going to show you guys the two clips that we're going to be working with. The first clip is the girl sitting at the desk typing on her laptop. And then the second clip is the clown standing outside the window. In order to pull this off quickly and easily, you want to shoot with the camera on a tripod. And while you're recording, you want to let everyone know not to move while the camera is rolling because the slightest movement of the camera will mess up the shot and it'll mess up the effect. And if you want to make the shot look a little bit more dynamic, you're going to want to shoot the shot with a camera that can shoot a resolution higher than 1080. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the second clip and put it on top of the first one. We're going to go to Lumetri Color and I'm going to temporarily bring up the exposure. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to see the window frame a lot more clearly since this is the main part that we're going to be working with. And because we shot these two shots on a tripod, the framing of the shot is exactly the same. I'm going to on and off this just so you guys can see it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the top clip and go to opacity and then we're going to click on the little pen tool and that's going to create a mask layer. And what we're going to do is going to zoom in on this clip a little bit just so we can see it easier. And this is why I brightened up the shot just so I can see the window frame easier so I can create the mask points a lot faster. So you're going to want to draw the mask around the window frame and then if there's any objects that interfere with it, you're going to want to draw the mask around it. But for the most part, this is a simple shot with not a lot of stuff in the way, so drawing the mask will be very easy. So what I just did is I created an opacity mask and I created the mask around the window frame so that everything on the inside of this mask is visible and everything on the outside of this mask is invisible. So to give you an easier visual example of what I just did, I'm going to create this color mat and we're going to make the first clip invisible. So when I turn off this effect, the clip is back to normal, but when I turn it back on, it'll show you exactly what the shot now looks like. So this little piece that we just cut out from our second clip is now on top of our base clip. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like before and after. And this is why it's really important to film it on a tripod because as you can see when I turn it off and on, everything is exactly the same except for the inside of the window. Okay, so now that we have the clown in place, I'm going to shorten some parts of the second clip just so that he's no longer there. And I'm going to cut the rest of this out so that when we play it, it's just a little flash effect. All right, so now we're getting there, but I'm still not 100% sold on this effect. So now we're going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to take the razor tool and make a cut in the first clip that's just as long as the second clip. I'm going to click on it and go into Lumetri Color, which is already here, and then I'm going to raise the shadows up by, I don't know, like 50. So what raising the shadows is going to do is it's going to make the room just a little bit brighter. And the reason why I did that is because when the clown appears, I felt like it made sense th that the room brightens up a little bit more. And then when he disappears, the room just goes back to dark. So when we do that, this is what the clip now looks like. But I'm still not entirely sold on it. It still feels slightly fake. So there's one more thing that I'm going to show you guys, which is the cherry on top. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight all the clips and we're going to go up to clip and click on nest and you're going to create a nest sequence. I'm going to click on that nested sequence and you're going to want to make sure that the resolution on the inside of here is at 4k which is the resolution of these clips and then the timeline that we're going to be working on you're going to want to make sure that the resolution is lower than your clip resolution. In my case I'm putting it in 1080 and the reason why the clip is now zoomed in is because our clip is now in 4k and our editing timeline is in 10 80 so the clip is bigger than the sequence so the sequence is actually going to zoom in on it a little bit more so now in order for the clip to fit the frame we're going to scale it down to 50 just so I can show you guys that's what we originally had but I want to zoom in just a little bit more I'm going to put it in, let's do 55 reframe it a little bit uh, let's do 60. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click on the clock on scale and then what that's going to do is it's going to create a keyframe. So now go to the very end and now we're going to change the scaling to 62. And what that does is we made it so that the clip zooms in a little bit and because the 4k clip is bigger than our 1080 timeline 
we can actually zoom in and zoom out without losing any image quality. So now the final product, we have a clown just flashing in the window all scary like and we have a fake little dolly in movement. When you're doing this type of effect, it's actually really easy to mask things out when you have two clips on a tripod. So for me, adding the little zoom in motion made it feel more like it was on a dolly rather than on a tripod. Add some sound effects and music and you got yourself a creepy paranormal clown clip. So that is it for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't seen the full film yet, check out the link in the description, you can watch the full thing there. And I also have a behind the scenes video on my channel that you can also check out in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos because I make plenty more just like this one. And as always, have an amazing day and I will see you guys later.